Hello, welcome to tutorial 9. This is uh, modeling a Pantera in Blender. If you've been following me up to this point and modeling this car or your own favorite car, you've basically got the majority of the body together. What we're going to do now is get into more of the fine tune, the fine details of uh, tweaking this model to get it to look how we want it to. And I'm going to show you some various tricks and things that will help you to get the car looking or get this car or any other car looking the way you want it to. Right now, as you can see, you know, we just have uh, you know, the basic, basic outline of the car, some sur the main surfaces. So what we're going to do now is, for a little while anyway, we are going to zoom in here. Here, let's see. First off, I'm going to cancel my mirroring there, just so that I don't get too confused. And I'm going to let me zoom in here on this part. Okay this is what I want. Now, there's a lot of things on this car which really need to be pushed in, pulled in, and moved around. As you can see, we this isn't exactly straight. <laughs> there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of a problem there. So, we're going to do an adjustment from both views. I believe in thoroughly fine-tuning the model to a very high level of accuracy, then we're going to apply the subsurf modifier, and then we'll be able to work with a lot uh, greater margin of error on our points. I'll show you how that works, but for right now, let's take a look. Goodbye. Let's take a look at this. Zoom in a little bit more. Now. Uh, as you can see these points, let me just enlarge this one and get rid of these others. As you can see these points don't really line up. They don't line up over here and they don't line up here. So they weren't supposed to. We were pretty much just uh, building this model to this point just to get it where we could work with it. Now something else I want to draw to your attention. The things that I do in this uh, tutorial are not always the things in the order and uh, the general method that I do them when I create a model. Simply because this, this tutorial is a learning experience for people that are watching it. And uh, I have to adjust my work accordingly. I jump around a lot when I model. Sometimes I'll go back and do something previous that I saw needed attention. Okay, I'm up here. I'm going to move these. These little operations that I'm doing here you already know the G and the X, so I'm not going to really cover that. I'm just going to move them right to the middle of these lines. This, These lines, as I said before, on any blueprint are not the have-all end-all. They are just a guide for you oops, to use when you're doing your modeling. The ultimate test will be when you look at it and say, hey, I've done a great job, or hey, I need to keep on doing it. Now just by moving these points to the center of the line, I'm using this uh, flawed blueprint. All blueprints are flawed in some respect. There we go. I'm just using this uh, blue blueprint as a rough guide to set these points to where I can get a little better understanding 
of what this looks like in the real world. Okay. Now, let's see. I need to set those two on the bottom. This is a real tedious part. As you can, as you will see, when we do a subsurf on this, the fine tuning is really going to pay off. Okay. Now, let's move these in here. Right to there, maybe. Let's move this one back to here. And move this one over here. Yeah, I think. There we go. Alright, let's take a look at these. These look pretty much okay. This one may need to come in just a hair. I'm kind of a perfectionist at this stuff. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, the adjustments that we have made, you can't really see them here. Now, if you look right here, uh, hmm, is this line perfectly straight? You know, kind of arced? No, it's not. All right. Now, let's see. What I wanted, well, here let let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and just go. I'll, I want to really get into the subsurf and show you what it can do. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this part. I'm going to set these. As you can see, there's a lot of points here that need adjustment. straight as I can. Oops. Okay. Just kind of aligning it right to the very center. This one needs to come back a little more, I think. There. That one seems to be okay. Down here we get kind of crazy. Yeah. I just really want you to see what the subsurf modifier can do for you. Now this one of course back over all right. Now, as you can see, you can you can already see that it's it's made a little bit of difference here. Okay, looking good so far. Okay, now, as you can see here, without going into all this here, which is needs to be pulled in. I'm not going to fool around with that yet. Uh, I want you to well here. <laughs> Sorry. Let's just go ahead and pull this in here. We're going to be working in this view and the top view. Okay, now as we can see we need to pull this down and begin to form the hatch. This is this was just a rough end as you know. We need to form the hatch as close as possible to what we want to see in real life. Okay. And by just pulling these down close to where they're going to be in the real world.
at any point we can always go back in and adjust it's no problem I just want to get this one in the works okay gonna have to go in real close here Of course, we do need to deal with this up here, and we will. Well, hold on, I wasn't even looking at my drawing there. Okay. Nothing's ever really perfect in these things. And one of the reasons that I like to make my mistakes and show you is simply because uh, you're going to make these similar mistakes. And even, you know, though I've been modeling for a long time, hey, I make mistakes. go back and correct them and I just want you to know that no matter what mistakes you make uh, nothing is too bad that you I've, I've never really run into anything that's just too ghastly that you can't go back and correct it okay uh, take a look here at this here we are now back here I don't know what happened here but we're gonna go in here and pull this in Okay, now as you can see, not bad. Okay, now what you can see right now is that there's a lot of play here in this part that needs to be dealt with. These points are way out there, and I'm going to deal with that right now. This is as I said, very tedious, but very necessary. 